Good morning, my friends. How are you all doing these few days? I am Pastor John again. I'm happy to see you again, whether you are in your sitting room, in your bedroom, in front of your computer, your mini pads, not so mini pads, or your big screen TV. I want to welcome you today. And you know what? I don't know about you. That's quite special about these few days. You all, maybe you can see me close enough, but I'm actually sweating big, big, big bullets. Why? Well, these few days is one of the hottest days of the whole year. In fact, they say we might be having record-breaking temperature. That means it's very, very, very hot. And you know what's the best thing to do in a hot day like this? Do we all know what the best thing to do? It's have a glass of icy water. And what it does is we replenish our body and cools us down and heals our thirst so we not be thirsty again. But you know what? Even after drinking this water, maybe after 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, or maybe 30 minutes, you know what? I'll be thirsty again, right? I want another cup of this icy water. I'll keep on drinking it because our body will lose water through many, many funny scientific ways. Well, but you know what? I remember one story in the Bible where I think it's the book of John chapter 4. Jesus hmm, Jesus came to a town and he met a Samaritan woman. Well, Samaritan, it's another group of people and they don't really get along with the Jew. Jesus is a Jew. Well, Jesus came to this well and I think he wants something to drink too. And so he asked this woman, Woman, can you get me some water? And the woman said, you are a Jew. You don't talk to a woman, a Samaritan woman especially. Why do you ask me for water? I know it's nice, but you don't ask me for water. And Jesus was, he said, well, woman, if you know who it is that's asking you for water, and you would ask him for living water, not just cold water, but you would ask him for living water. Well, the woman said, well, you're a Jew and you have no bucket, you're nothing. And the well is deep. Where do you get the water? How can you get the water? There's no way you can get the water. Well, Jesus said, well, if you have tasted my water, you will never be thirsty again. This is the gift of God. And it leads you to eternal life. And then the woman said, whoa, if this is so great, give me some water. I want it again so I'll never be thirsty again. And Jesus said, okay, yeah, go and get your family. So Jesus pointed out that some bad choices that women made in the past. Some bad choices. The woman doesn't want to talk about it. She said, oh, Jesus, where should we worship? Here, there, where should we worship? But Jesus explained to him. So explain to this woman, explain to her that, you know what, there will be a time coming that we don't have to go anywhere to worship. We'll worship in truth and in spirit. And the same thing happened to this woman. I think she felt that, oh, Jesus has accepted me and even she, he knows about my bad choices in the past. He accepts me regardless of who I am, even the Samaritan woman. And you know what happened? She went back and tell her friends about this Messiah, the Savior, who knows about my past, and I feel forgiven and accepted. And you know what happened? This woman's friends came to listen, to learn from Jesus. Well, friends, you know what? A nice cold water in a hot day like this, it's excellent. I'm still sweating big bullets now, and I really want to drink this water, but I will never be satisfied with this cup of water. Only believing in Jesus Christ that he will give us a living water which is quench our thirst. We will never be thirsty again. So what do we do? How do we take this living water? Three things. A, B, C. A, accept Jesus as our Savior. A, B, believe in Jesus, that he is the living water. He is our Savior. And C, choose to follow Jesus. A, B, C. Choose to follow Jesus. When we choose to follow Jesus, we will help to spread his living waters because we will tell our friends and others about our life story with Jesus. Regardless of some bad choices we made in the past, regardless of where we come from, Jesus accepts us of who we are. And he is truly our living water. 
I invite all you to pray with us now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for you sending your Son to die on the cross for our sins, to give us the ever life-giving living waters that we will not be thirsty again. Lord, we give you thanks for that and ask you to also help us to remember this living water is precious and that as a follower of Jesus Christ, we can all go tell other people about our lives, how we meet Jesus and how this living water is in our life and so that all our friends, our families who have not yet known Jesus would also come to know him. So we ask you to continue to bless us uh, quench our thirst with your living water and give you thanks. In Jesus' great name we pray. Amen. I'll see you all next time. Bye.